Team that stands for New Mexico. You're watching KOB4 News at 5. This is the final day of the National Week of Action for Missing and Murdered Indigenous People. The New Mexico FBI says from July of 2022 to April of this year, more than 650 people have been reported missing to law enforcement. That's in the state of New Mexico and on the Navajo Nation. Felice Romero has been looking into those numbers for us this week. Felice, how many people are still missing today? Tommy, out of those 600 people, around 200 are still missing today in New Mexico and were moved to the long term missing list. I spoke to the coalition to stop violence against native women about their work in the space and how they help the indigenous community. Stories of pain, grief and unanswered questions. We want to uplift the marginalized voices and the things that families are experiencing when they have a missing or murdered loved one. For more than 25 years, the Coalition to Stop Violence Against Native Women has been doing just that. They work with providers on how to help indigenous people who have experienced violence. Overall, a lot of our work is to address gender-based violence, uh, protecting uh, women and children, as well as our gender expansive relatives, and also bringing our men and boys into the conversation of anti-violence work. Storytelling workshops also help them empower families to tell their stories and find answers. So we did things around like press release, um, how to do talking points, even doing like interviews such as this to help families. Even with their work, Jolene Holgate says there's still gaps that make it difficult for families to find justice. There was a case out near Kirtland, New Mexico, where a family had to call three different agencies because they didn't know who to file the missing persons report with. So um, it becomes very discouraging um, in the process as well. A problem the FBI also noticed when they started doing this work last year. Now they help local departments better serve families. Providing that training that local law enforcement would need, whether it's cultural sensitivity, and that was specifically asked for in the state response plan, or even working with the families. Donald Metzmeyer with the FBI says families can reach out to the FBI if they're having trouble getting a loved one on the official missing persons list. There is no 24 hour rule to where you can report a loved one missing to local law enforcement. They would rather clear someone after an hour if they think there's something suspicious. People can always go to the coalition for help. The Department of Indian Affairs also has resources on their website for families that are missing a loved one. Thank you, Felice.